Okay, so here we're going to have a look at how we get around an image. So one of the things you'll do a lot when you're working in Photoshop is zooming in, zooming out, and navigating around your image as you work on it. It's really important to get a nice flow for moving around your canvas. So let's just open up a file here, okay? And basically what we're going to look at here is how we zoom in and zoom out. So if you come to the, the left-hand side here, you can see at the bottom we have the hand tool which allows you to move the canvas around once you're zoomed in. And then we also have the magnifying glass tool to zoom in. And if we hold down Alt or Option to zoom out, okay? And you can see once I'm zoomed in a little bit, I get some scroll bars along the side and bottom that allow me to move around the image. And I can also jump to the hand tool and move around there as well. Now one nifty feature later versions of Photoshop have is the ability to rotate your canvas as well, okay? So if I click on the hand tool, and hold down, you can see I've got the rotate view tool. Okay, and this allows me to rotate my view. Okay, this is really useful sometimes if you're painting or wanting to work in a tricky part of the image where things just don't seem to be quite going quite right when you've got it upright. Rotating the canvas can be really useful. If we have it rotated and we want to rotate it back to zero, we can hit reset view here. Okay, and we'll just jump back to the regular hand tool. Now, as you can see here, when we open up a tool in Photoshop, we have a shortcut here, so H and R for the hand and rotate tool. And for the magnifying glass, the shortcut to get to it is Z, okay? I'm gonna jump back to the move tool up here. And really, I very rarely use the hand tool or the magnifying glass tool, the zoom tool. And normally I'm zooming in and zooming out using shortcuts, okay? So on the Mac, it is Command and Plus to zoom in, or Command and Minus to zoom out. And on the PC, it's Control and Plus and Minus. So we can zoom in and zoom out, okay? And then if we want to toggle the hand tool on as we're working in Photoshop, we just hold down the space bar and that means we can move around our image, okay? So basically, we don't need to move away from the tool that we're currently using, whether it be the move tool, the paintbrush tool or anything like that. We can just use the shortcuts, command or control plus and minus or alt and the mouse wheel will work as well to zoom in and out, okay? And then the space bar to move around. Now there is one other tool that is definitely worth mentioning and that is under the window menu. Okay, and we're going to jump to the navigator here and basically the navigator allows us to see where we are in our image. So we have a complex image and we want to kind of move around it and see the thumbnail there. You can see that we've got this nice little thumbnail that allows us to move quickly to different parts of the image without having to zoom in and zoom out as well. Okay, we can also zoom in and zoom out in the navigator tool as well. Okay, one other zoom level that's really important when you're working in Photoshop with any of your images is the 100% view level. Okay, so this is 100%. What you're seeing is all the pixels on screen at 100%. So this is one way of checking that your type is good, that your edges are sharp, okay, and that you have a good quality image. Whenever you're zoomed in or zoomed out, Photoshop is kind of making a best guess as to what it displays on screen. But when you're looking at it 100%, you're looking at the actual image, which is really important. So control or command plus and minus to zoom in and out, space bar to toggle the hand tool to move around. And also just make sure you're keeping an eye on the zoom level here so that you know what your zoom level is. And that will help you control the quality that you have in your Photoshop images.